deep breath in. Hold. Sisters and brothers, it is the top of the morning to you. And I'm here to express to you something that I have recently found out to be factual. <laughs> well, there's something called the hollow earth theory. Well, it's not a theory. These are facts. <laughs> These are facts. The earth is hollow. Now, what does this mean? It means as above ground, so below ground. And there are certain entrances all over the United, not just the United States, all over the world that is being guarded right now to the inner earth, okay? Now, I know what these cities are, but I can't tell you. I don't really feel the need to share what these cities are. But so, the inner earth, it's called Agartha Shambhala, and it's been mapped out. Yes, the inner earth has been completely mapped out. They know, they've been down there. Who are they? A lot of the governments know about it. <laughs> and down there, what is it like? Well, things overgrow. It's very lush, it's very green, and... There are different types of, there are different species. I think, actually I don't know this for fact, but I'm, I know that the inner earth is for sure. So there are different types of species. If you think about it, what creates gravity? So the question is, are, you, are we even living in the earth, inner earth right now? We actually could be and not even realize it. And then some people do realize it. But so if gravity is spinning, right? Okay, and the world is spinning, wouldn't you, be, wouldn't you fly off if you're on the top of it? So what would you do? You go below ground so this explains why perhaps we haven't gone to the moon very many times or have we so also if you have if you haven't heard this before well to go they say that we know more about the moon than we do underwater so if we go underwater what do we find uh, uh like uncharted territories and there's uncharted territories everywhere underwater that's right and if the deeper you go which we can't really go that deep, but we've tried to go down there and discover new things. And we're, all, we're constantly discovering new animals, new species, and new things really deep below. So the earth, I'm going to tell you right now, family, I know the time. <laughs> the earth is definitely hollow, for sure. So what does this also mean? The lost city of Atlantis is not lost. They just You just can't find it because it's not on the map because it's below ground, not above ground. That's right. And there's also a lot of cities that are below ground. So it is not just a theory. The earth is not flat. It's concave. And it does go below ground. If you do want the information, it is there on ancient aliens. They do go into depth. And they are actually... I'm not going to tell you they're telling the truth. I'm going to tell you what I know. And from my observations that for 100% sure the earth is goes hollow. If you don't know about Admiral Byrd, I recommend looking into uh, his statements and his accounts. Uh, he wasn't really allowed to talk about it too much, but he did find places. And how do you get there is a the question. Well, there's there's two big openings on the poles. As one's on the North Pole, I know one's on the North Pole for sure, and I'm pretty sure one is on the South Pole. And you can go down. There are huge tunnels there that start. You, you can actually... It goes like this, and you're actually go. It's like such a big concave turn. You don't even know that you're going into it. That's how large it is. And again, I believe I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm pretty sure that there are places all over the world that are guarded by um, secret societies and um, what do you call those people? Uh, Monks, that's right. Temples where monks have also access to the inner earth and they're heavily guarded and it's just tough to get, you can't get past these people. And there are places in the United States like the Denver airport that is also another access point to these underground, to the underground uh, worlds, which is advanced in technology, has really lush green forests and plants and animals that we probably have not seen. So... If you want to know the truth, it's out there. Look up Admiral Byrd's account. And he's... Basically, he wrote about it in his journal, and I have to think they found it after he died. So understand that, yes, the Earth is absolutely hollow. It's 
These are facts, man. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, may peace be with you. Also with you. <laughs> facts. <laughs> Thanks, praise to the universe. Thanks, praise to everybody. And if you want to know more about the inner earth, and yes, it's pretty intense, right? Well, it's true. And you can look it up on Ancient Aliens, and you can also see it on the account of Admiral Beard, because we've done expeditions. You're, if you don't know this, you're, we're not even allowed to go to the North Pole. <laughs> and there are good reasons why we can't, because, well, I'm not exactly, well, they don't want you going down there. So, <laughs> now you know. Peace be with you.